I got an email today uh, from a member. Actually, I'm not sure if he's a member, but uh, I got an email today, and it was a uh, question about um, the how do you find the credit on a credit spread? How do you find the ROI? So I figured I'd do a, um, a video called Iron Condor Math. And uh, in this video, I aim to make it easy for you to understand the dynamics between the math behind the iron condor and how uh, the numbers play into effect. How to find your ROI, how to find the credit, uh, max loss, etc. So uh, on the screen here is the actual email that I received. Um, you know, uh, the person here has looked at a Amazon iron condor and he's set it up. Um, for me. So basically what this is saying is that he's doing um, sell to order, uh, sorry, sell to open 3 November 250 calls at a price of 53 cents. He's buying 3 November calls, 255 calls at 33 cents. He's selling 3 November 195 puts at 164 and he's buying 3 November 190 puts at 117. So the first thing to look at is, is this Condor itself set up correctly and it, um, it seems that it is set up correctly, um, and the prices seem to be about right. It does look like it's uh, much more skewed for on the put side, so it's closer to the puts than the calls, but that might just be because the uh, the puts have more value. Um, so basically, he's asking, he's setting his up, and he's saying that his uh, commissions were $55, so he had a credit of $164. Um, he's taking that minus the one five hundred minus the one sixty four which is uh three six thirty six and such but uh, I looked at this and this is basically incorrect um right here. So let's go through this step by step and um you know we can see what uh what he did wrong and basically how to do it right. So step one, what is our credit on this trade? Here's the actual trade that we have here. And what I want to do is uh, break it up to make it easy. So let's do the calls and then let's do the puts. So basically for the calls, we have 53 cents is what we're getting as a credit because we're selling these. And we're paying paying 33 cents. So it's 53 cents minus 33 cents. So we have that here. 53 minus 33, we're left over. We got 20 cents left over. Now we have to multiply this by 100 because we're getting 20 cents per share. And in every option, there are 100 shares. So it's 20 cents times 100 shares. And here we have times 3 because the he's doing 3 credits. He's doing 3 condors. He's doing 3 spreads. So we multiply by 3, and we actually get $60 credit for the call side, only on the call side. For the puts, we have 164 minus 117. Right down here, 164 minus 117, you get 47 cents credit times 100 because we, we got to multiply per uh, share. And then we got three spreads, so we're doing by three. 0.47 by 100 by three equals $141 for the puts. You add these both up together, you have a grand credit total of $201 on this trade. Okay, so that's how you do the credit. Um, basically, you take whatever you got minus whatever you paid um, times 100. You always have to time it by 100, and then as many spreads as you did. So if you had only done one spread, then we wouldn't have done. Th we wouldn't have had to multiply it by three. Um, it would have just been um, 0.2 times 100 equals 20. But since he did three spreads, then you have to multiply it by three. All right. Step two. What is the max loss? So now that we have the credit, we have to find out what is the maximum we can lose. And the uh, formula for that is the max loss is the difference between the strikes times 100 minus the credit. So let's do an example of that. Now in this um, this scenario, the difference between the strikes is $5 because he did say the 200 and 205 strikes. So there's $5. Uh, difference between the strikes in the calls and the puts. Now you take that and you multiply it by 100 again because there are 100 shares in every option. Um, so we have $500 per spread. That's the value. $500 per spread. Now we're doing three spreads, so we have to multiply it again by three. So we have a value of $1,500. Okay. Now we minus the credit from that. So we got $1,500 minus 201, which was our credit, equals 
1299, which is our max loss. Now, this is the most we can lose on the trade, $1,299. The credit, which is 201, is the most you can make on the trade. So you got the most you can make and then the most you can lose. This is our max loss right here. This is also called the margin because that is the amount that's going to be required that you have in your account to cover this amount. The broker is going to make sure that you have this 1299 in your account. Um, in order to do this trade. If you don't have this, you can't do the trade. Now, since this is an iron condor trade, the margin is only taken on one side, and it's also a balanced trade, meaning that the difference between the strikes is $5 on the calls and the puts. Um, if he had done you know, uh, $5 between the strikes and the calls, and $10 between the strikes and the puts, then we would have had to use the $10 number as the, the difference between the strike. Um, if you do other trades, then depending on the broker, you might have to have a margin on both sides. So in this case, you're doing um, balance, and it's on the same month, and it's on the same underlying, so you only have margin on one side of the trade. Okay, so now step three, how do you find the ROI? The potential return on investment is found by dividing the credit that we got by the maximum loss. So now if you remember the credit we got was $201. We divide that by the $1299 maximum loss and we come up with a potential return on investment of 15.47%. This is the maximum you can make on this trade. Now keep in mind that this is before commissions. Um, once the trade is done you can subtract the commissions from the profit and figure out the ROI. So I like to do um, the commissions at the end of the trade. I don't like to put them in the middle because the commissions that he counted in um, were only for getting in. You might get out of the trade early if you don't let it go to expiration. You might get out early, and if you get out early, you might have commissions for that, as well as you might have to do some adjustments on the trade. And if you do adjustments on the trade, then that will change your maximum credit. It will also uh, change your commission structure. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to wait till the trade is over then you subtract, if you have a profit on the trade, then you subtract the commissions as your cost from the amount that you made, and then the leftover is your actual profit. You divide that by the maximum loss, and you get the total ROI. If you have a loss on the trade, you have to add in your commissions, and then uh, you divide that by the max loss, and then you get your, your ROI on the trade, or your profit and loss on the trade from that. So basically, there's three steps. Number one, what is the credit? Step number two, what is the max loss? And then step three is dividing the credit by the maximum loss. That gives you your potential ROI. So I hope this, um, this short little video made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to email. And uh, we'll hope to answer your questions either uh, via email or in a, another video. Um, thanks a lot. Uh, happy trading. And um, hope to see you soon at optiongenius.com.